What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, Nick Scarpino. Hi, Greg. Hey, how are you? What have you been up to today? Nothing. Bored, normal, old show here. God, man. If you're listening to the video, you know it's not that, but the MP3 does. Over here, Pride Long Island, Colin Moriarty. Go Islanders. Go Islanders, indeed. Over there, the Pure One, Tim Geddes. Let's him host. And then over here... The South Oh my boss. God! What up? What up? Thank you for having me, Harley Morrison. Hey, I'm. Hey, thanks for coming, Harley. This is like two years in the making, right? Yeah, you've been dodging me a long time. You did this really, really annoying thing where I was like, "Hey, I started this YouTube channel. Come on it, come on it." And you're like, "No, why don't you come on my much more successful YouTube channel over and over?" Yeah, again. And you ended up on like five episodes. You were on like Epic Chef. You were on like Epic Meal Time three right. times. Right. Just a little closer. Right. Oh yeah, sure. There, there was go. the. Should I project more? Also. No, you're fine. You're okay. Fine. I was you're on. Good on. I was on Epic Gaming Time. The one time. Where I yelled at the kid and threatened to kill him, like a real child. Yeah, he was like a six-year-old boy. And then, I, it, then you, got, you got me blackout drunk on Jameson during my episode. Oh yeah, we so in the got next you episode, blackout drunk. We did that to him. You yeah. gave me solo we cups for Jameson. You actually kicked open the door when he walked in, like, "Yo, where the fucking drinks at?" And we're like, and "Yo, it's 10 a.m. We're only rolling at 1 p.m. Like, chill." And you killed it. Greg killed it. That's we what actually, I did. We deleted footage. I'm sure you did. Remember, no, like, like not just cut footage. Like we deleted it from our computer. <laughs> no one should we see can't it. Have We're this. like, this is for Greg. We're gonna delete this. When yeah, your like, thank shirt you. was off, and yeah, you know, I think you had your shirt on. You had like in a turban. You were like, you were like, no one can fucking touch me. <laughs> <laughs> and then funny. you lost a, a, a six year old in Skylander. <laughs> no, well, that did happen as well. In a mirror. I couldn't believe I lost to a mirror. Anyways. Oh, yeah, a mirror. If you're watching the video, you've noticed something interesting, ladies and gentlemen. We are, in fact, not at the usual house. We are at Patreon.com. Of course, Patreon.com slash kind of funny. Changed our lives. Let us leave our jobs. Do all this stuff independently. Uh, we are. It's currently GDC in San Francisco, mm -hmm. Tim. Gamers develop no game no, game right. development conference. Ga the, or the, development the gamers, of gamers develop conferences. Yeah. When you we get just, to everyone 14, gets together, hair grows in different mm -hmm. places. Um, so wow. we're here doing this live stream that we are doing with all these developers. They're coming and showing their games. Part of the live stream is happening right now. We are for the first time ever recording us recording this live. So Whoa, meta. it's on Twitch, and then it'll also be as usual on all the other platforms we mm -hmm. put it on. And so it's an exciting day for everyone. We thank you, Twitch people, for watching it. If you've never heard of the Game Over Greggy Show, the idea is simple. Each and every week, four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table, each bringing a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, you can get the whole show early, Fridays, patreon.com slash kindoffunny. If you don't want to give us any money, you can go to youtube.com slash kindoffunny and get it broken up topic by topic, day by day, until we post the entire thing for free on YouTube and iTunes and MP3 services it's around the globe. Yeah. Harley. Yeah, man. You're I was just thinking that uh, YouTube actually isn't free when they go there and they give their eyeballs. Their eyeballs are paying with time. So oh. you still reap the benefits Whoa. of such a thing. Yeah. Do you feel like a bitch so. now, Greg? How much pot did you smoke in the car? Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> zero. Yeah, I don't zero. You want to do that in a car in San Francisco. I'm not that hooked up in San Francisco that I can land get pot and get stoned like all within 20 minutes <laughs> i'd be super late <laughs> also i wouldn't say anything i'd be in here and be like yeah, man. yeah i get like that like yeah, i don't want it i don't want it okay. anyways <laughs> harley you're you're here you're the guest usually the guest leads with topic ideas okay i asked you what your topic was what did you want to talk about you said nothing i got nothing i also said uh, where should i eat after this that's, that's not a topic not even that's a topic. easy it's not even a thing no yeah. I mean, an important I would, question though go to brick house yeah. i would say Okay, yeah, that's, that's close enough. I get a good burger. Yeah, I'm, I just want one recommendation. I got it. That's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. All right, great. So then the the thing we'll talk about is Harley, the internet superstar. Mm -hmm. You 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 you're Harley. Mm -hmm. You're a big deal. He has his own cologne. You have your own cologne. We made a commercial there, for it. You two, yo, so you know what happened with that? Hmm. You guys won, by the way. Did we? Yeah. What's that even but mean? No oh my wanted, God! You're no gonna throw to, this out into the public? <laughs> no one wanted to bring you. No one wanted to fly you to Los Angeles, and you guys didn't want to go to Los Angeles. So we're just like everyone was just like, all right, let's just squash it there. <laughs> Anyways, let's never talk about that night again. It's, a, <laughs> it's true that that's how it happened. <laughs> we had like we have like 300,000 views on that video, and the one you guys chose has like 20. Anyways, no big deal. That's not what it's talking about. Um, no if for deal. some reason somebody doesn't know you. In the public eye, they're a Game Over Greggy show person. They've never heard of you. How do you describe yourself? Oh, it's a Game Over Greggy person and they don't know of me? Exactly. Ooh, that's so rare. I mean, like, <laughs> so many Epic Meal people know of you. I know. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like well, I, I got to have, like, a, a 50 to 70% chance that you know who I am if you know 
game over Greggy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's I got to be. It seems like it's we up there. We tweet and stuff. We're yeah. videos together. Sure. People might be like, oh, it's the fat, loud guy, and Greg is in his videos sometimes, but that's still knowing me a little bit. That right? counts. Yeah, yeah. You're not fat. You, you're the real quitter. Dog, what's this right here? That's nothing. Look it's at that. Sweaty. God, that's beautiful. It's wet. You guys can't see it. <laughs> it's wet. You guys can't see how much it's glistening, it's but wet. it's glistening. <laughs> For a, how long was I out? I mean, it might be <laughs> how long was I out of there? You're wearing, this, you're wearing a sweater. It was an accident. I came from Canada. Oh, yeah. Like, dog, right. I don't need it. So then let's dial it back. It, bro. Not for a viewer at home, but you get to border c control. You get to the customs. Mm -hmm. They ask you, what do you do? What do you say? Uh, I'm always like, oh, I produce a show. What kind of show? A cooking show. Oh, you're a chef? Not at all. And then they like fold up my passport and they're like, "Explain yourself." And that's all. You're like, "No." I have a hard time. I'm gonna put this next to you. Yeah, go for it. They it's on the piano, much is funny. They snap the glove. No, you go. No, I'm a, I'm, an, I'm an ex teacher <laughs> who used to, who does really raunchy content on the internet and bleeps it out, and all my students think that I'm. A, that's no. Well, you know what? Well, now ass. my students are like fully adults because like when I they were oh, my students, they were so like so 17, 18. Yeah. Now they're like 22. That's not fully an adult. No, that's not fully an adult. Anyways, you know what I mean. It's close enough for Tim to date, and that's oh, all yeah. we care that's about. All I <laughs> Hell yeah, dog, yeah. me too. <laughs> where, where we high fived, by the way, everyone. Good. It was nice. Yeah, if you're listening to MP3, there was a high five there. <laughs> It was kind of weak and muted, though. It was, it like was too uh, well, things. to be no, to be true. fair, this table is really long. Yeah, it is. So it took a lot of effort to get just This halfway. table is not this table that no. I'm used to. This so. is an actual table that was probably produced by an actual human being, unlike I the Ikea table that we have, which was which produced is by three machines and a fucking Vienna sausage or whatever they have. Oh, in Vienna sausage. Did you guys see the Ikea furniture news yesterday? No. That they're, they're adding... Um, charging technology to Ikea furniture. That's so a really good idea. Like, put your phone in, just full fucking charge. That's so dangerous, and here's why. So why? Every time I get anything yeah. in I, from Ikea, it lasts for one month and then starts to go a little awry. Mm -hmm. Not a lot awry, just a little awry. Like, it's a little wobbly, so I can only imagine if there's an electric current running through the table, how many times it'll shock my balls. <laughs> Just why right are your into balls my ball sack. I don't know. <laughs> well, that table's really low to our crotches. That's how you own the table. Yeah. You put your balls on it. Good point. <laughs> my table now. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, so you you going off of Greg's question? You start on the internet. Yeah. You take over YouTube. Yep. You're, you're one of the biggest. You're, you're basically YouTube number one royalty. online cooking show in the world. In the world. Suck it, Jamie Oliver. Yeah. Jeez. And you're like, it's not enough to to own the internet. This big brand new internet thing. We got to go to TV. Yeah. So we went to TV. We made a uh, Epic Meal Empire. Uh, Two two seasons of that show, uh, we made. You know, actually, I modeled that show. Uh, if you don't know what Epic Meal Time is, by the way, we make fucking huge lasagnas out of forty five fast food burgers and stuff like that. That's so good. And Sorry, bacon. I just, everything's wrapped in bacon. I just ate a burp. Um, and so when I pitched the TV show, I went into a network and I was like, "Yo, it's like uh, Fantasy Factory, Duck Dynasty, and Ghostbusters." And <laughs> they were like, here's a blank check. They were like, wow, we love it. And I left, and I was with my brother at the time, and I was like, yo, I'm like, I've never even seen Fantasy Factory or Duck Dynasty. I just know that they're like friends and there's beards. I'm right. like, I figured it's the same shit, mm -hmm. but with Ghostbusters. And if you watch an episode of Epic Meal Empire, <laughs> we've maintained the Ghostbusters element. Yes. No, we're, that's we're four dudes. Yeah. We had uh, we casted a female to be like Janine, who brings us our, our shit. We have the Hambulance. Mm -hmm. uh, the Hambulance. What? What's the Hambulance? <laughs> a Hambulance, which is a retrofitted ambulance. Just like the, they had the Ecto One in Ghostbusters, mm -hmm. famous car, and we had all our uh, all our gear and stuff, kind of like how they have all those blasters and gadgets. We had a hot Proton sauce packs. gun, mm -hmm. Neutrona no wants, no big deal. Uh, there you go, yeah, exactly. We crossed the streams many times though. Absolutely, the season. Tim and I did that this morning when yeah. we weren't on. Right before we came on, we crossed streams. Very sexual, guys. Calling you get sexual in the Things Patreon offices too. Not oh, just, we get you know, sexual. We've been wherever we've we been are. screaming cuss words all day today. Yeah. All right, guys, fix out under the table. It's that, <laughs> it's that kind of live stream. <laughs> and then uh, to cap it all off with you, okay, which I go, this is this is the pinnacle of human achievement. I'm watching a little movie called Tusk. That was tight. That was with uh, directed by Kevin Smith, and this movie is, it's an interesting film, but uh, uh, the main character gets to the uh, Canadian border. And who does he meet? This guy. This me. guy right here. And you have you have probably the funniest scene in the whole movie. Dog, thank you so by, much. By by far, mostly because the movie is really twisted and graphically horror driven. <laughs> yeah, mo mostly because so. <laughs> like right after my scene, it becomes like a fucked up version of Human Centipede. Yeah, it was, it's the last thing you want to do is laugh. Pretty messed up, but you were fantastic in that. Thank you, thank say. you. That was uh, super surreal because um, we had Kevin Smith on Epic Meal Time, mm -hmm. and then he hit me up to be in this uh, to have a cameo in Tusk. Which, by the way, anyone who is a fan of Kevin Smith, the movie starts off the first third like a Kevin Smith movie, hilarious dialogue, mm -hmm. and then it just takes such a fucked up turn. It's messed up. Like, it takes a really messed up turn, and you're kind of like, you know where it's going, and you're like, is it really going here? And then it goes there, and you're like, I can't believe we're here. Yeah. 
And then it ends and you just like kind of think about it. Anyways, I really enjoyed the movie a lot. Um, I recommend it to people that like fucked up shit, yo. Yeah. That's everybody watching this show. Yeah. Oh my god, everyone on Twitch and that downloading your MP3s. Yeah, exactly. This, and if you listen to it on Winamp, for sure Win. you would love it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Llamas. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was super surreal because then I watched the movie later at Kevin Smith's house, and that was like you know we went we went into the kitchen before and he was like cutting up some cake. You want something you know to watch the movie with? Mm. And I was like having some cake and. I kind of looked up and I was like, whoa, the ceiling is so high. It's like 40 feet high. And then I kind of snapped. I was like, oh, wait, it's Kevin Smith. I'm me. What am I doing? Right. Oh, my God. I'm in the movie that he's going right, to show right. me. It was super surreal. Like kind of one of those things where I was like, wow, I can't believe all this from wrapping my dick in bacon on YouTube. You That's know? the question. I mean, how often do you have those <laughs> moments? Because it seems like I, you – it's just when you think of YouTube or when YouTube does something, I, no matter what it is, I'm like, oh, well, Harley's going to be involved. And sure enough, you are. You're like yeah. you're, you're one of the poster children. I'm like a whore. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. I know. I want it this way. <laughs> it's okay. This is what I asked. I got kids, but to you're feed, like so. you're like a high class whore though. Like yeah. the kind you're that I can't you're afford. You're Roberts. Like the sure. kind that when I think about potentially engaging with a prostitute, I think about you. Yeah, but you think about how you can't afford me. <laughs> yeah, I think about like you can't afford this pussy. I'm like he's. So <laughs> Say it. Say you can't afford it. I can't afford it. I, can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel gross. Imagine what my vagina would look like. It would be uh, really hairy. <laughs> it would be so loud. It would be like the like it would be like all the all the bush in Jesus. the 70s combined into one vagina. This got be dark so fast. Loud and hungry all the time. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. So we went through that rabbit hole. What were we continue? talking about? I want to know <laughs> how many of those – because there's the book, too. There's the TV show. You're in the movies. You're talking to all these people. You travel the world now. You, you see all sorts of celebrities. You're I'm in the commercials. I saw you swiping left. I was at a bar a couple right? days ago, and I saw smoke. you on TV. And then we're talking about pot first thing uh, when I get on the show here. Again, you're a whore. You've covered uh, so it. Did you, tell, did you tell Dave Franco his house was on fire? Wasn't that one of those Oh, my God. You oh, yeah. did. I yeah. forgot about yeah. it. Yeah. That Dave, your house on fire. Yo, dog, don't tell me. Or yeah, and, and so we, I, I, I did that little scene with Dave Franco, mm -hmm. and then when I, I uh, had James Franco on Epic Meal Time, when that happened in my head, I was like, wow, and now I've, I've You've done both finished Franco's. the Franco yeah. connection, and now the only thing is Gary Franco, or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> <laughs> Dina, I got what, on what's he do for a living? I don't know. I think he sells mattresses. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Please, Please complete yeah, the trifecta. go film this commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you need a good mattress, dog? <laughs> Pasadena's Franco's Mattress Jesus. Emporium is the way to go. <laughs> it's it is a strange life that you lead, but yeah. it's an awesome life. Yeah, we've we've watched it and, and just been you know because we Tim Tim and I and all of us have been watching it since the inception, and it's just awesome to see sort of where that passion has taken you, mm -hmm. and right into the arms of a Franco brother, mm -hmm. which is exactly where you'll I always be the guy. You'll always be the guy who came to IGN that first time, and we got thrown out of Twenty First Amendment together. Yeah, dude, <laughs> I remember I freaked you out because I followed you on Twitter. Before, yeah, 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 like yeah. way before Epic Meal Time. I also follow even when IGN tweets me today, still, I'm like, What? I think I've been on front page IGN twice, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, and that's like a far greater achievement personally to me than like, uh, I don't know, the amount of times I got my dick sucked in the last <laughs> four years. <laughs> So it's really what are, we are we what are we talking there? Because like you're kind of a, you're a big celebrity. We're talking like, like we're in talking the hundreds. Like, do, yeah, like dozens of hundreds. Because okay, I've been married for like seven years, so or five years, three three years. It seems like an eternity. <laughs> you don't have any idea how long you've been married. <laughs> once, trust me, once you go through that, once you go through that that rabbit hole, it, it, there's no there's no accounting for time. But um, no, that's the story I always talk about is the fact of people when I'll go do the show and I'll come back and people are always like, I can't believe you got to hang out every meal time. Like, well, we've been doing that a long time, and I remember that first time you guys came through, Scott Lowe was like, Hey, do you guys want to hang out with the epic? mealtime guys and we were all like hey who are they and he had to show us the video I was like oh yeah these guys seem cool and you guys came through and you rolled up in character like you were all very much oh, yeah. playing we, it we never broke in the first year of epic mealtime we never broke character we used to like be like what bitch come and then we'd like get up the, like close the door and be like oh my god if everyone knew that we love hugging each other <laughs> <laughs> no that was the thing is that you yeah. did it and you we, you sat down and like Muscles wouldn't talk. He was just sitting there or whatever. Oh, yeah. and I think he glasses. still does that. You grabbed Casey's beard, I remember. Muscles or, glasses. Well, Casey's Lynch had that beard, and you grabbed it at one point, and he grabbed yours, and I was like, and he was like our boss for like two days. I was like, am I going to have to fight this guy over this? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is happening? <laughs> but then, yeah, we went downstairs when we got in trouble for shouting at each other because people challenged us to a loud shouting. Yeah, you I guys was, were I, loud. I'm exceptionally loud, and everyone was like, oh, Greg's really loud, and then we just started being really loud together. Yeah, and the entire bar went dead yeah, quiet. To be clear about this, Greg was screaming. 
You weren't screaming as much. You were as doing, just a doing a siren. You did a siren noise. High pitched yeah, noise. Yeah, you were. You were actually. You were like this. Saying words. Yelling yeah. words. And I was doing a siren. And you keep saying bar. It almost makes it sound better. No, it was a restaurant. <laughs> it was a restaurant. It was dinner time, and it was a restaurant. <laughs> there were, there were, <laughs> I think back of like, you know, like ten things that I probably shouldn't have done. This is like in the top ten. It was like, why were we shouting? We were like adults. I know. And we hadn't even got liquored up yet. Because mm. our friends were like, well, I think they're both loud. Let's see who's louder. Yeah. We're well, like, all right. Oh, I got to show it to my friends, and you got to show it to your friends. Then It was like a Marvel DC crossover, but then we became best friends after. Yeah. But we went downstairs, which is where we eventually got thrown out, because then we were drunk, and we were too loud. But that was the first time you broke with me, where you're like, blah, 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 and we're like talking about something, and you're like, yeah, da, da, and it's just like when you went through your divorce, man. And you wrote, and I was like, whoa, how do you know? He's like, I've been with IG and since Hillary gave us Assassin's Creed is 7.8, and I was like, these guys are cool, and I don't need anybody else. I was like, whoa. And that was when I was like, yeah. I actually, yeah, I had like, I, 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 I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but I was like adding like IGN employees on Facebook, like way before it all. And like, I remember the first Epic Mealtime episode, I remember like sending it to like Hillary and posting on his wall and be like, yo, check this out. And he was like, cool, man. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only anyone had gotten in on the ground floor. Oh man, that's that's that is the thing though. Like when you first started, did you realize what it was going to be, or were you just like, "This is fun. I'm going to throw some stuff up on the internet and just." I, I like I sat there with tacos and burgers, and I like threw it on a pizza, and I was like, Tch, million dollars, obviously," <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> no, I uh, I thought the first episode. I'm like, this will be popular. I'm like, because I think this is unique, and there's not anything out there like this. Mm -hmm. So. It should be popular, but it ended up being uh, way more popular than I thought, yeah. and I kind of impressed myself by committing to it every fucking week since yeah. that very first episode. That's the hard Do you part. understand? Oh, I understand. That we have not missed a Tuesday. We are like 450 episodes deep. God damn. 450 <laughs> uploads, dog. How like, come real up with shit. Food? That's what you got to do. That's like, a, cooking. So how do you come up with the ideas for that? <laughs> not just blah, 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 video game. Seven <laughs> on ten, blah, blah, like... Cooking, sweat, and not just sitting drinking Gatorade, sweating like working sweat. <laughs> I'm hot. It's a third the calories. <laughs> I'm so hot. It's fucking hot here. Yeah, right. This is our bodies, guys. This is our bodies. Doing <laughs> is this this life now? We're putting out a lot of energy, and we're getting it back in return. Yeah, so sure. that's why it's, it's, it's true. Getting and hot. like my, I got a fold happening at my belly button, so it's just getting like so Moist. liquidy in there. We'll check in with that yeah. later. Okay. We'll check in. We'll do every topic. We'll check in with the belly button and right, see how cool, moist man. it's gotten. So then where are you now in, in, in your head with all this? Like, do you still shut the door and g giggle and hug each other? You and Dave hugging and rolling around? Or is it like now it's all just normal? Because uh, you tweeted a while ago, and this was the one where I decided I hated you, is when I think it was that Taylor Swift complimented your beard. Mm. And I was like, fuck this guy's life. Oh, yeah, fuck him is. to the ground. <laughs> totally lost an opportunity. I was in Vegas, and she was like walking by. It was an iHeartRadio some concert thing and she was like cruising by like with a phalanx of of bodyguards and managers and and i was like taylor and she turned and looked at me and i was like <laughs> if you were that with mp3 i nodded upwards and she was like uh she was like you have a phenomenal beard and i was like yeah and she held it for like two seconds and left like almost if i would have been like let's Fuck. <laughs> like, oh, I've been waiting for a man with a set of balls like that. I played in my head. Like, if I had just been like, fuck me, I'm going to fuck you or something like that. Maybe a bit more romantic, yeah. Yeah. No, I feel like. No, I mean, I feel like yeah. I no. I'm just going to throw this out. If you're like, I'm Harley, that might have that might have helped move the conversation along too. I should have said, I didn't say anything. I don't, listen, I don't have the right answer. The things I'm saying, that's that wouldn't have worked. Sure, no, no, no. But she wanted, I think she wanted, like, she was like, oh, finally, a man. She was intrigued. Not these bitches I've been singing about. Right. Like a real Is it a, a little, man. little rubber boys? She she recognized your masculinity. She did. And that's the most important she thing. She was, yeah. She wanted a baby. She wanted me to put it in her. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. In her mouth, I, even. Jesus Christ. I, how old this got X-rated. <laughs> no, so, I apologize. Yeah, I'm kidding around. I know that. You're a Ghostbusters, too. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but, yeah, I, I just I, I kind of locked up, and I was just like, go. And, you know, she was she was gone, and that was it. You'll get another shot. Yeah. You're, you're not going anywhere soon. Nah, I'm over it. Oh, okay. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> <laughs> the first step to uh, getting over it is lying to yourself about sure, it. Sure. Yeah. Just always said that. Fake it till you make yeah, it. Yeah, I think yeah. it's uh, uh, I think it's actually that accepting you have a problem is the first step yeah. to getting over it. It's, so you're not quite there yet. Yeah, accepting you have a problem is is the is the third rule of robotics. That's true. Second rule is I understand that, that robots can't kill <laughs> robots can't kill other robots. Taylor Swift's very tall though. You guys would make very tall children. 
She was, st- yo, she was tall. She's super tall. And I she saw was her rocking the heels, and she was way taller than her phalanx of. Uh, I like that you're just dropping phalanx like it's no one's fucking. Well, business. that's what she was. She was like in there, and they were circled around mm-hmm. her, like marching. It was so serious. True story. So serious. I learned the word phalanx from the movie Three Hundred, where they formed a phalanx. Mm-hmm. Me too. To fight. I learned it from a really Persians. shitty Super Nintendo game. Mm-hmm. Which one? What? The one called Phalanx. Oh, I think. Did they explain Phalanx. what the word was? With the though? old dude with the banjo on the cover. I don't know if I remember that. Oh. So were you growing up being like good. a phalanx is probably like a type of guitar? Or I thought it was an old. <laughs> thing. I thought it was an old <laughs> mandolin. <laughs> Folk music. Yeah. <laughs> I learned it from hitting nerdy ass history but classes. So, <laughs> so does that stuff resonate still? I mean, is it still a thing? I, like I, when I, you you worked with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jay Leno and all these different things. So I I first got into like doing entertainment or wanting to be in front of a camera or behind a camera or anything. I saw Terminator Two was the first movie I saw in theaters. Really, and I remember I left, and I was yeah, how fucking awesome that's, is that? Would that not awesome. have like an impact on your life? That would fine? probably so that would have screwed my life up. Yeah. If that was my first cinematic experience. Oh, yeah, no, not everything would have paled in comparison. Well, yeah, that's what's been going on. Okay, so I, I left <laughs> I the theater, and I remember being like really hyped up, but like, oh, I want to make a movie. It's easy. You just get that guy, mm-hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger, and mm-hmm. it's gonna be awesome no matter what. And like, last you know, action hero. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was their directorial uh, sure. debut. Talking to yeah, when which you, is good now, by the way. When I you make a movie, now. can we all die in it? With Tywin Lannister's in there. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Awesome. I'd love to kill you in my movie. Greg, we're all going to die in his movie. Okay. Because they're going to I don't think that's gonna... a binding contract, what you just did. But No, I mean, it's on, it's on the internet. It makes yeah. it You guys get your dick sucked to death by each other. My God. I'll take it. <laughs> I knew that's how we were going to go. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> if I had to guess, yeah. Yeah. that was going to be the Tim, way. Some that... part of me always knew. I know. Uh, that's, that's right. No, but is that is that something that you still have your sights on? Well, that's, that's what encouraged me to basically get to Epic Meal Time was I went to auditions and stuff before. Okay. I took acting class, and they're always like, oh, you're too ugly and too tall, and you're not even a good extra because you're just distracting. And you tower over everyone <laughs> Just else. lurch in the background. Uh, just get out of here, and you, you just get out of here. Leave. And so I was like, well, I'm going to buy my own camera, and I'm going to film me, and I'm going to give me all the lines, mm-hmm. and I'm going to be in every single episode. Mm-hmm. And so that's what happened, and it was, in a way, something that you know I wanted to entertain. And the fact that I ended up filming two episodes where I got to write, direct, and co-star with Arnold Schwarzenegger, I was like, who else has that with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. You directed him, wrote for him, and co-starred alongside him. Does anyone that else have that? That blew my mind. That was, are you, th- if I remember correctly, you cooked an egg on, on his tank. tank. Yeah. On his ta- on his tank. Yeah. That just let's examine let's that unpack sentence this. for a second. Let's, everyone like, everyone like, settle you, down you, for a second. First of all, you, you could break it down multiple times. Yeah. We cooked an ostrich egg an ostrich egg which is right. like 24 the size eggs. of a we human the, baby we cooked the ostrich, ostrich egg difference. with arnold schwarzenegger we cooked the ostrich egg with arnold schwarzenegger on his tank on his tank on video mm-hmm. and he said the words that i wrote for him so i got greg miller a cup of coffee once that's greg the miller closest analog to that that i can in my life so that's where i'm at so you're all the way up here as far as the scale is concerned for that moment in time, we're yeah. here waiting to suck each other's dicks to death. <laughs> <laughs> the inevitable. That's how it's gonna go. I just realized that uh, some of the Patreon staff has joined us in the room. Oh, they've today. been here for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I apologize ahead of time for any more dick sucking comments. Thank you again, guys, for having us in your office. I, I don't. The apologize. one and only time they're that they're ever gonna have us. I, back. I, I have no loyalty to you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next? Like, um, I mean, you just keep doing this forever? You keep being YouTube's baby boy forever? Uh, well, that's the thing. I mean, you know, I, I, I love Epic Meal Time, so I have no plans about like being like, oh, what's the next thing? It's always like, what can I do mm-hmm. but still operate in the kitchen on Epic Meal Time and stuff? So do you see that as sort of your base? Like, that's never going to go away? That's your main, like, target audience or like, Well, we, we have, like, yeah, we have, like, a core audience mm-hmm. that expects it every Tuesday. And, you know, it's still, it's still fucking fun. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's inspiring every week. We, we've gone through so many evolutions of Epic Meal Time from the very beginning until now. Like, from the time where we never broke character until now where we like hugging and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we jump. love hugging this stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so everything I, I do, it kind of revolves around Epic Meal Time. And, uh, you know, we we have this responsibility, or at least I feel like a, a duty to make cooking approachable to people. Because mm-hmm. what we've done is Epic Meal Time was, uh, in my opinion, something that made 
the culinary world approachable to Joe Schmo. Like people would watch them and be like, oh, that fucking guy, if he could do it, I could do it too. Sure. Mm-hmm. So we've seen people like in the last four years go from just being like, love Epic Meal Time, bro, to like now graduating from chef school with like an uh, uh, like a chef knife tattoo and being like, yo, for you guys, man. That's awesome. And who knows, that guy may have been selling drugs or fucking sucking dicks in bathtubs for, <laughs> for cash. <laughs> for cash. Oh, for cash. That's where it got bad. Okay, got it, sorry. Got it, got catching it. up. So, uh, so <laughs> we inspired those people, so we feel the need to inspire further, which is why we got to handle it, which is now mm. why we've created uh, a bunch of new food shows, which we haven't released yet, but we've been passing around internally that we want to release on Epic Meal Time. And I Don't just y'all do live stuff. In a, you all live in a house together. Where are you, no, you no, passing no. We, it around? We, we, I have a house, and we all operate in that house. But mm-hmm. we We're can't familiar. live together. Dave's got a wife, man. You guys, they, you, they live together in, for a little bit in L.A.? Yeah, in L.A. we all live together. Yeah. yeah. Those are the days. Are you guys still yeah. in L.A. or did you go back to Montreal? No, we go back to Montreal. We go back and forth a lot. Okay. So, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of back and forth. Never sticking around in one place for too long. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, man. Greg literally. <laughs> Greg literally. Yeah, I saw your eyes start to <laughs> hone in on something. I was like, oh, God, here we go. <laughs> That's true, though. I mean, and Greg, you know, Greg literally went to L.A. twice last weekend. Yeah. Like, you came in, flew in, flew out, flew in, flew out in the same dog, weekend. Dog, look at you balling. Oh, no, big deal. Dog. No big deal. No big Tweets deal. Out, tweet out pictures of what? Wow. No, but it's ex- it's an exciting life, and it's an exciting th- time. But I think that's important to note, though, is that you really do have to kind of make sure that you're always appeasing the core audience, right? Those guys, those are the guys that made you, that wanted to stuck with you for that long. And it's cool to hear you say, like, that's always going to be a part of your, mm-hmm. you know, your life and your repertoire. Yeah. I mean, it'll get to a point, I think, where Epic Meal Time will still exist, and I might just be, like, way too ugly and old yeah. to be on it. And then we'll be like, Epic Meal Time, the new class, or who knows what. I don't oh, know. That'd be dope. Like, and, Epic uh, Meal Time goes to college or something like that. And it's just, like, they just recast you as the younger, hotter versions of yourself. Well, I was thinking maybe I just have, like, a bunch of kids shadow each of us. Mm-hmm. And, like, they don't say anything. And they just watch us for, like, maybe, like, six months of episodes. And then we just kind of slap them in the face, get some tears in their eyes, tell them to get serious about this shit, and then just abandon them on the show. And just Could see what happens. Yeah, yeah, just see how it well, goes. That's how everyone does that's it. That's one actually. way to do it. Yeah. That's what Nick did to me. That's how I got here. I did. That's yeah. true. What was the first thing I sent you on? Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't I it really it was a defining moment. Really bad. I was like, Tim, you screwed that up. I mean, like, well, I actually, you didn't tell me how to do it. No, funny thing is, it was actually a prototype two event yeah. that was at GDC oh, yeah. years ago, and it fucking sucked. Yeah, it they had like, hot dogs there. I remember there was hot dogs. Yeah, it was at the the W. Yeah, yeah. So that was the thing. It was really scary. There was a lot of people doing drugs. And I was w? like, I don't know about this. Yeah. Well, no, where? Crazy. In San Francisco? Yeah, San Francisco. So they were it's doing crazy. drugs at W? They were doing drugs. Which, now, for the record, it w wasn't the video game industry w. doing it drugs. It's right by it wasn't the entire industry. The tire industry? <laughs> so it wasn't the entire <laughs> <laughs> A Firestone rep was in there like, you want a key bump? <laughs> we got the best vulcanized we're rubber in the industry. We're these tire treads. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of treads, uh, what the hell are we talking about, Greg? Wait, so how come, why are you here for GDC? Uh, well, actually, um, I'm, I'm a huge gamer. I do love video games a lot, hence why I added IGN 2009 staff on Facebook. <laughs> 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 oh, such a fucking nerd. You had Jeff Haynes and Jeremy Dunham. I think I oh, even, yeah. I'm going to go so far to tell you guys that I, I, be, I was banned from IGN.com. Nice. For what did comments. you do? What did you do? What were your comments? Were you putting it porn in the like, comments? I would just always like it'd be like nine point five on something. I'd have been like, should have been nine point six. Y'all are fucking stupid. Like get your shit together. It was just goofy trolling. <laughs> what? Anyways, what possible pleasure could you derive from that? I'll tell you. I'll tell you how. Because I was once there. Okay. I was once one of those assholes. There's no pleasure. No. There's no pleasure in anything. There's it's no pleasure anywhere. Life. Yeah. So you just want to like be like, yo. Who wants to hop in this pile of shit with me for a bit? Yeah. I dare someone to respond to me about this right now. Like, I got fucking a whole response rebuttal already pre-written. I'm just going to copy and paste it at you. You know, there's no pleasure. I was in a bad place. I hated my program. I hated what I was doing in school. I was like, fuck, I'm going to go on IGN, talk to these fuckers, tell them nothing. <laughs> Contribute nothing. Tear nothing them apart for no reason. Um, but I did play a lot of video games. Always owned every console. And, uh, we, you know, we started a gaming channel. You were on it once, Greg. Yeah. Uh, fuck, Greg, you touch everything we do. I know. And Some uh, would say I'm the key to your success. So uh, No one would say that. Okay. No, unfortunately, <laughs> not for you. Yeah, you're like after. You're like the doorstop to my success. <laughs> you're like after the key. Whoa, whoa, don't, open, don't go too far. Don't go too open, far. Yeah. Don't hit this wall. <laughs> Got your back, guys. Yeah, we just, we, we just need someone, anyone to keep this door. Oh, Greg, come here. Keep this door open. <laughs> the doorstop. <laughs> Greg! 
<laughs> You're so sweaty right now. I know, right? You know what's funny uh, is you normally Greg sits next to me and makes fun of me the entire time. So Greg, how do you like it now? <laughs> I'm glad you brought your big brother. Yeah. <laughs> Let, me get them titties, hey, hey. Hey. Let me get them titties. Mm. Yeah. Wait a second. That so, felt uh, good. That last one felt good. <laughs> yes, I love video games, and we have an uh, open dialogue with a couple um, video game companies, computer companies. So NVIDIA brought me out here for their announcement. Oh, nice. Which is? I don't know. Do you know? No, I was seeing if you're going to blow it. Why would I know that? Why would they tell me? I have no, they, they brought <laughs> you out here for bring it. Big You're here lap. to look at the announcement? It's, it's, I thought yeah, maybe yeah, you'd yeah. come on stage and be like, yo, dog, let me tell you about this thing that's happening. What's no, wrong, no, Kevin? It's one, thing to, it's one thing to bring Big Loud Harry Guy to hear your secret announcement. It's another thing to tell Big Loud Harry Guy your secret announcement. In yeah, 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 yeah. For this yeah, exact yeah. scenario. Mm. Where I wouldn't have said it, but if we were banging a, a whiskey right now, maybe I would have been like, Rah, you guys want to hear it? I want to hear it. <laughs> so. I got a new foot controller. <laughs> They're getting out of the graphics card industry. So now you've also, this this pertains to the people watching the live stream. You've started twitching now. I started twitching. Do it right now. Uh, Harley plays on no, Twitch. See, I think you're going to twitch like. Twitch. Harley plays on Twitch. No, follow me. Stop. Go. No, Get don't go. There's nothing there. Don't there's go there, there now. I'm hosting. Actually, I'm just hosting kind of funny right now. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, no, I'm actually not. God but, damn uh, it. Yeah, I signed up to Twitch because. Uh, I play games. We have a YouTube gaming channel, and I was just kind of like, Twitch is super interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a really interesting site, and uh, it has a completely different culture from YouTube. Mm. And uh, I don't want to say more sophisticated. I could almost say more positive comments. Mm. Like the chat is is like I can go through there and and like like maybe it's the moderators. Maybe YouTube channels should have moderators mm. in sure. their comment section, and would completely change the culture of it. But my first, like, five streaming experiences, there was, like, fucking nasty echo. It's, like, 360p. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, you guys hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Yo, you guys, yo, <laughs> That's how we guys, are even now. Yeah. And all, yeah. all the comments were just, like, literally, like, yo, click here and do this and do that and yeah, whatever. Yeah. Twitch and is so, good people. We get that yeah. all the time. I got it as we were. I mean, today we every day we have technical problems. And even t uh, today, some, one of our moderators emailed me and told me how to fix something. And I was like, thank you. Something I didn't Definitely. know could have been a problem was a problem on this stream. Yeah. yeah. And, the, you know, it, it's one thing when you're filming live tape or stuff for YouTube because it's never live unless you're going live on YouTube. And you can reshoot it. You can always do it again. But, like, man, it's embarrassing. That first couple days we did it was embarrassing. It was, it was actually the most embarrassing thing when I tried to do it. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Greg actually knows more than I do about this subject. And I know very little. Well, so from I, a tech perspective. Yeah, no, I, no I'm just saying usually, from, I know very is, little about what, what I do period. here. Up until this yeah. point, Greg was like, you know, Greg would produce his own content, but he would he would come on set and he would get the IFB and he'd be like, this is what we're doing. We'd go through the run of show and you would just take the show from there and you wouldn't necessarily bother yourself with the stuff that was happening behind the scenes. And we've done big shows together. Yeah. So it was very impressive when I when I came in and that we, we didn't even talk about Colin and Greg Live, uh, which happens Monday through Friday on uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Kind of Funny Games. Yeah, I almost got it. Almost had it. Um, 11 a.m. Leave the hosting us, Nick. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try, except for when we have to film for you guys. Uh, but yeah, it was very impressive when we didn't talk about that. And I was like, well, shit. I mean, we ran out of time. We were launching this channel. We had two days to put the whole thing together. Yeah. And I came in and everything was set up and working. We have Xsplit working. And I'm like, it's this cool program. And you were like, oh, I added all this cool. Check this out. It's a fucking web browser. And it pops up and like Portillo runs by. And you're like, dude, this is really impressive. It made me feel small. Well, small. Well, that was the thing. That was the beauty of Colin and Greg Live, which is that Greg and I did Podcast Beyond for so long that we just never needed to plan it. Mm -hmm. But then I realized that. I don't know anything. I barely can use a computer. Right. So we just relied wholly on Greg to figure everything out. He did. He that did was beautiful. it. Beautiful. Speaking of you hosting and you and, and you and Tim hosting, by the way, uh, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm excited because I wrote another letter to the audience that will go up in the next few days. We okay. talk a little bit about about that. Okay. In that letter, so I, like I just that. wanted to tease that I'm for everyone out there because I want to see you guys because I want to see you guys do your own thing on Twitch. We're gonna do some nasty things. It's gonna be good. But yeah, I'm you know to to bring it back to Harley, I. It's very interesting because for the longest time we worked at IGN, which was predominantly live tape stuff, right? IGN first, IGN YouTube second, always. And it was always about that sort of like delayed experience. For Twitch, is just a whole different vibe. It's very much what I would assume is the difference between doing like a movie versus a stage play where you just feel like you're getting that instant gratification all the time and that instant feedback of, hey, your audio is low or, hey, what you just said was wrong. Like the other day, uh, we were trying to talk about the guy that was uh, uh, tapped – the guy that directed. Oh, uh, we couldn't say his name. We could not say his name. Uh, Denny. Vill I don't. Villeneuve. You could say because you speak French, but uh, we couldn't say. It, and I thought it was Spanish. I was like, it's Villanueva, and the guys are like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, his name was Denis Villeneuve. Yeah. See. But you were saying That's like easy. Villanueva. You made it like a Spanish. Oh, because I'm because I'm from like Southern. Good job. Good job. Like mad that I said you something in asshole. French, a name in French on here. 
Um, so, so but, I can but, see how you got to that point, by the way, though. Well, I mean, my, my Southern California brain sees two L's together in a V, and it's just it's. Well, the reason I knew that it was Quebecois was because it's because article. it's it, because it was it, it, his name first name was Denis D E N I S. And well, I was my like, brain and I was like, Dennis. all right, that's. I'm that's, like, it's just Dennis Villanueva. <laughs> it's Dennis. He was an asshole. Was <laughs> no big deal. Name, right? Completely different guy. Okay, totally different. Guy. Welcome to America. Uh, that that guy serves food at uh, Taco Bell. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's really cool, and it's it's something that we're obviously trying to push as much for as, as possible, and we love our Twitch audience as well as our YouTube audience, and they're pretty much one and the same at this point. So it's well, good. Yeah. yeah, that was the interesting thing is like technically, uh, uh, you know, even like my personal channel has an installed fan base already, and I have a gaming channel on YouTube. And YouTube offers streaming, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like like I could by all means go and upload 15 second videos to my YouTube, mm -hmm. but you do it on Instagram to kind of expand the yeah. brand and reach out into a yeah. different place. And uh, only recently, like I've only been twitching for the last two weeks, you know, I I feel like I've totally tapped into completely different people yeah. or people that haven't watched Epic Meal Time mm -hmm. since like 2011 or something like that. And uh, it's just kind of expanding. It's kind of being a player in a different forum so yeah uh, it's his own audience it's his own ecosystem you gotta yeah. be a part of it yeah i really enjoy i really enjoy the whole uh twitch experience and uh just gaming i don't know just the live thing like i remember like i had a hard time grasping gaming to begin with i was always like i grew up where it was like yo dog pass the fucking controller you're shit but now <laughs> it's like you like watch someone else play it and it that was almost an acquired taste for me it, oh I, sure i got to a place where i was like oh i get it now like i get why i would watch this like yeah like like it was literally the same as as star trek next generation for me where i was always mm. like boring shit this boring <laughs> shit it's stupid we'll agree and then i'd watch it and watch it and yeah. now I, I fucking love the show and it was the same thing with let's plays sure and then i got to twitch i was like why would i watch this where it's like it's a let's play but it's fucking the, it, it could kind of dip in and out. There's a chat going on. The guy's talking to the fucking chat. He's not even being fully interesting. But then I, I was watching Twitch for a month before I started to do Twitches and or, or Twitch. What do you whatever before you Twitch? Yeah, before I, I twatch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> before I started to twatch, and uh, and that happened for me where I was like, oh, I'm like I totally see the appeal in this. Yeah, and I even see the engagement. It has like such a high engagement mm -hmm. that like. You sit there like I was watching this on the way here, and I'm like fully in the chat, like you know, uh, one to be a dickhead and be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be ten minutes late," but also because it's, it's you're a part of it. It's way it just has a whole different culture from YouTube. It's a whole different beast on its own, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, and I don't know. It, I feel like Twitch can benefit from like alternative programming beyond stuff like this. Like this is alternative programming on Twitch. I wonder what Twitch's future will be. Yeah. That's another discussion, though. It Probably is wide open. Another topic. <laughs> For another time. Uh, when are you streaming, Harley? If people wanted to come find you at twitch.tv slash Harley Plays. I don't have a, a set schedule, so, you know, just Harley Plays on Twitch. Uh, and I don't have a set schedule yet because it's tough. Like, I mean, I, I don't I, I, I don't operate in Lo uh, Los Angeles, so I'm always flying to Los Angeles. Gotcha. And some of my Twitch experiences are literally me bringing my laptop. And I'm like, I have time now. Hotel internet. What up? <laughs> I, was twitching, I was twitching in the hotel about two days ago in L.A. and fully like had security come to my room because i was like getting hyped up in there i was like drinking vodka red bull i'm like we're doing it we're fucking doing it so, like, <laughs> knock at the door and i like go to the door and i'm like oh hey yeah no i'm on a crazy skype call sorry about that and like sat back down and i was like oh, shit, all right guys we can't we can't we can't be that no. crazy sorry about no. that sorry. way too fucking crazy well harley good throw colin thank you I love you. I'm glad for all your success. Yeah, dog, man. I'm happy you're, I'm happy you're here finally. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I it's think our this pleasure. is like two oh, years in the making. You're welcome yeah. with us anytime. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold you to that. All right. Nick, it's your topic. Okay. i got to pull it up. Okay, good. Thanks for being did. prepared. Well, I, d everyone tells me to mess around with my phone beforehand. So Stop. I, Why are you on your phone? Oh, my God. Look at, the, look at how rude he is. You know, the dynamic changes when Harley comes because Colin used to always be on my side. I'm always on your side. I know. I love you for it. Uh, so I'm, always, I'm, not, I'm, I'm on everyone's and no one's side. I'm like. 18th century U.S. United States, George Washington. You know. Oh yeah, of course. we're getting deep here. You know. So this this question stuck out to me when it was tweeted at me at Nick underscore Scarpino. Remember, if you have topic suggestions for the show, you can tweet them at me and like psychoholic. And I'm going to preface this a little bit. A little while ago, maybe two two three years ago, something came back into the mainstream consciousness that had been missing for a while. It was something from my childhood. Something that I revered, loved deeply pubes no gross that's, that's disgusting you should, should, you should immediately shave those things ago. come up you shave them off 
You shave mm-hmm. them off. If you like want. A, just to keep like a wet seal. Anyway, long story short is this. <laughs> a while back, uh, Jason Siegel spearheaded a movie called The Muppets. He brought The Muppets ah. back. And I love The Muppets. And I'm super glad that we live in, in a world where The Muppets are relevant again. So this question hits home, close to home for me. Psychoholic says, if you could remake any movie, but the cast of the movie would have to be with the Muppets, what would it be? <laughs> I mean, Jesus, that's remake a hard any question. movie you that's want. A really hard question. Fast and Furious. That would be amazing. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. Oh, the entire series. That's so Muppets. awkward to remake Fast and the Furious while Fast and the Furious is still on. Yeah, <laughs> but with the Muppets, like I rebooting mean, the series mm-hmm. while they're still like on episode eight. That, how uh, awesome would that be? That see, that's a that sounds that's like something the Fast shit and Furious they would actually would do. do. Yeah, they would. That's like yeah. super Hollywood. Sounds like a Marvel Damn. cinematic thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So, I Mike, that. I have more questions as always when you bring these up. Yeah. Are the Muppets be acting like Muppets with the, ah, yeah. like, okay, okay. 100%. Then, yeah. Okay, then so it's like if you imagine Vin Diesel, we're family. Ah. Yeah, yeah but, but the Muppets could act like people, kind of. Like, they could, sure. like, the character, like, Kermit the Frog can be Kermit the Frog mm-hmm. playing someone else. Yeah, like sure. Muppet Dominic Treasure Trump. Island. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, or Muppet Christmas Carol, like any of those movies. <laughs> What was but the Treasure one you Island. said before all that? Which one? Treasure Island? Is that what I'm... He said Treasure, Treasure Island. Treasure Island. Did you say said Domi- Dominatrix? Sorry. Dominic Toretto. Thank you. You're hearing character. what you want to hear. I am hearing what you're I really want to hear. You're really hearing what you want to hear. Miss Piggy? Is Miss Piggy the Dominatrix? Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah, of course. Kind of Fifty Shades of Grey Muppets. Fifty Shades of Grey Muppets would be funny. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what I do with Miss Piggy. I fuck. Yeah, man. Yeah. Did you see this movie? What? Fifty Shades of Grey? I did. Oh, my God. What did you think of it? It was really bad. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Glad we agree. I actually, I actually read the book. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, well, this is what the bitch is like. <laughs> I should know what the bitch is like. I want to carry on a conversation with these bitches. Yeah. And I, uh, I read the book, and uh, it was super like, it was super. I just, I can't imagine being like uh, a girl being like, you're gonna make love to me, and being like, nah, I'm gonna fuck. Sign this document. For you. <laughs> like, there's no way. Agreed. That would <laughs> never work. If you're a billionaire, am I? But if you're a billionaire, what does that say about the girl? Where she's like, I'll sign your contract. Thanks for the car. Now give me that dick. <laughs> like, it's or that vlog. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, too much. And yeah. the movie was so like, it was so like, I felt like it was like whoever was writing it, like, and uh, uh, this uh, room of men in suits have determined that this scene here will make 40 year old vaginas moist. Mm-hmm. So we're going to put that in there. <laughs> I mean, Tim and I literally, and Greg, went and saw it the night it came out on a Thursday night. And we saw it just as a social experiment. Oh, you liked it? No. 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 Okay, I no. mean, we enjoyed how it was you know, enjoyable. We enjoyed it, was, it, it was an enjoyable experience only from the fact that there were so many women in the audience that were not taking it seriously. How many were, girls did we, did you, 15? We came with 15. An entire, 15. It we came with a row, an entire row of Asian girls. But they the, best, all Asian. the best part was that like, Nick, couldn't, was Nick didn't want to sit with us because we were up in the front row. So Nick bought a solo ticket. To Fifty Shades of Grey, and went and sat in the back of the auditorium that was, next to other women. That was my favorite. Dog. That was my favorite part of the story. <laughs> I had a big, I had a twelve-inch hot dog that I was sucking on the entire time. And the worst part was I sit down, and it was full. The, the theater was packed, so it was me. Uh, it was a couple to my left, and then a single girl to my right. And so I sit down, and she starts talking to me. So, so she was her. by herself. She was by herself, and half she had decided to come see it. She was a little drunk, um, and we were talking a little bit. And then the two girls next to her were like. They leaned over to me and they're like, so how did she get you to come into this movie? How did she drag you out? And I'm like, I don't know this person. And they were like, what the fuck? That was, what is happening? That was my favorite part of that story because Cheryl was like, oh, why didn't you go Why didn't you go to the guy, with the guys? I'm like, I don't want to fucking see that movie. And, and, she was, and I'm like, but you're going to like this part of the story. She's like, oh, so Nick, Tim, and, and Greg went together. And I'm like, yeah. Uh, she's like, oh, Kabuki and all that. And I'm like... But there's a, be- a better part of the story. Yeah. Nick and Tim are, or uh, Nick and Greg are sitting together. Or I'm sorry, Tim, Tim and Greg, Greg are sitting together. together. Nick got his own ticket yeah. and is sitting by himself now, it was- somewhere in that movie theater. <laughs> and you fucking know that that's the perfect scenario for this particular movie. Yeah. And that's why it was so funny. And she started laughing, and that creepy. was our visual of that. It was, particular it was a little. Night. Cre- I felt a little creepy, and I also felt a little creepy because I would have been fine in the front row. You I had one totally bad fine. experience with the front row. I got. I came late to see the movie Gladiator. When I was in like right out of college, and and Gladiator, by the way, is filmed at like a super like a high frame rate, or actually I think it's sh- low shutter speed, so it's very framey. Like every time there's action, you're like you're catching a lion and a fucking sword, and like there's a chain, and you're like, what's happening right now? That's if you're sitting in the middle mm-hmm. of the theater. If you're sitting in the front of the theater, you're getting a blur of colors the entire time with Russell Crowe's great voice behind it. 
It was like, what we do today? It goes into eternity. And you're like, that was amazing. I don't know what the fuck he is, though. I can't tell what's happening on the screen. Um, and so after that point, I was like, I vowed never to sit in the front row again. If I, if I get to a theater late and there's only front row, I'm like, I'm go. I'm, I'm, out. I'm gonna. You were also in. super stoned, I bet. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I didn't smoke a lot of weed in college. I bet you did. I did. Whatever. That's you want to share with your audience, all right? No, I drank a lot. Okay. I was, uh, I was, and I ate a lot of Del Taco. Are you familiar with this fine dining establishment? I'm very familiar with Del Taco, and mm-hmm. here's here's what I gotta say. When I first had Del Taco, it was like 1997. I had Del Taco, and I was like, "This is better than Taco Bell," mm. and I killed it. And then I came back like 15 years later, like two years ago, and I'm like, "Del Taco is better than Taco Bell." And I went and I had it, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> it's no. not." But I am gonna make a very crazy call right now. Okay, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. I want you to trust me on this. Okay. The double Dell cheeseburger is just as good as an In N Out burger. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. And I want you here. to go and get yourself an In N Out burger and get yourself a double Dell cheeseburger okay. and try them back to back even. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's, that's on the real. That's okay. bold. Man, so Seriously. a burger from Del Taco. Yeah. That this sounds is, like a bad time. This is, I know, but it's better than the tacos. This is coming from a guy, by yes. the way, though. You need to know where I'm coming from. I like five guys way better than In N Out. Hell yeah. I, I like Fat Burger way better than In-N-Out. Yeah, yes, I agree with both of those completely. Oh, fat Burger, there. maybe some Fat Burger. Dude, Five, five, five Guys is so under... Five Guys, there's some haters out there. It's five really... Guys, it's this the, guy it's hates it. Too much fucking meat. Too much meat, he says. Five Guys is too much meat. I don't understand. You fucking... <laughs> <laughs> but like, the thing with too much meat is really like, cut your burger in half then. And it's still better than In-N-Out. No. You don't need to eat it all. Like, it's yes. I'm also not the biggest proponent of In and Out. Either. I think he's saying the meat to bun ratio. Yeah, is there's off. too much meat in. in it's not that he's like, oh, this is too much food. Burger, get the little cheeseburger. Little cheeseburger gives you one patty. Sounds like bitch ass shit. I don't do little. Well, you're speaking like a bitch right now. That's true. I'll try. You know what? Also, this is a secret move for people that don't like too much meat. At Five Guys, is ask for grilled cheese sandwich, all dressed. And they put all their condiments and all their like jalapenos and onions Sounds and stuff good. into a burger bun, and they grill cheese it, and it's actually really phenomenal. Mm. Or the hot dog, you know, you like sucking on them dogs. I love them. I love my mouth. A hot dog I'll there, my face all dressed, near is me. really good too. I don't know. I, I don't know. I like their fries. My problem oh, the though, fries is what they great. do is they kind of trap your burger, and then they dump the fries on top of it to keep it hot. So you have to go reach into these burning hot fries to is, pull your burger is out. Is that why they do it? Yeah, to keep it hot. Oh, I thought that it was just their like their thing where like, hey, I just have some more fucking fries. They're like, nah, I'm a 14-year-old <laughs> body that's, making your burger. I'm just going to dump the That's fries brilliant. I would have never known that ever. To keep it hot. It's to trap the burger in there so the cheese is all melty. Oh, interesting. Oh. I had no idea. Uh, you're really right on, though, with, nice. five, with Five Guys in terms of the fixings that they put on, like the different layer. Like they have, I don't know what they call it. It's like everything in red or everything in yellow when you go in there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like. They like don't fuck around with how much. Like if you get everything on there, that burger is like literally four Stacked. pounds. Yeah. You know, it's just an, an incredible amount of shit on that burger. Yeah, I get I get the triple XL at Fat Burger also a lot. Mm-hmm. So I have my pictures up oh, in numerous fat Los Angeles Fat Burgers. Literally see, like me, like <laughs> like with the triple XL challenge, just hanging out of the beard. Colin, you wouldn't like Fat Burger though. I think I like Fat. I like Fat Burger. I thought they put mustard on the burgers. You just burger. get it with no mustard. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah they're simple. not like monsters. They'll let you <laughs> change it. The big, the big. <laughs> Colin has uh, an aversion to mustard. Though. Oh, I, I fucking love like mustard. Why? But, uh, I just hate. I just hate it. it. Makes me want to throw up. It, 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 it comes from a very early <laughs> scarring story when I was a child. And I, I, we've told this story before, but I, I grew up in New York. We do not put mustard on our burgers in New York, even if you go to McDonald's or Burger King. Like it's not mm-hmm. a thing that they do. And so the first time you leave. Like Long Island, I'm from Long Island. You leave the city or the tri-state area, or whatever, and you, I went to Connecticut, like Northern Connecticut, and they had mustard on their burgers. I was like, "What the fuck?" And I like almost threw up in the middle of the McDonald's. I was like seven years old. And ever since then, just can't do it. Mustard is super to me as a Canadian. Mustard is very American to me. Like if I have to think of like what's American food, I think of a hot dog mm-hmm. with mustard on it. Why? Why? Why do I? Why is that American to me? Ballpark. Yeah, Ballpark. Yeah, baseball. Out there, yeah. Chicago. Plus, yeah. as Americans, we have a long history of eating the worst thing possible, and there's nothing more processed or more fake than, than like a hot dog. Pig butt and pig face. Yeah, in a it's tube. like they take all the they, what they do is and this so is my good, understanding. Colin, Colin, you might know better than me than this. Mm. This is my understanding of how they make hot dogs. They take all the good part of the pig, yeah. and they save that for the actual right, store. Right, right. Then they take the rest of it, they grind it up, and they throw it in a pig scrotum. And then wrap it up at the tips. That's and, that sounds and, about and right. Just give it to you. The thing about hot dogs, and to a, a much lesser extent, sausages. Because I love sausage. So like sausage I love, 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 it's love fat. sausage. It's just like I don't. Meat. People are like, oh, you know what's in that? I'm like, do you think I give a flying fuck yeah, what's in on, it? What the fuck? Like it's I don't. This could be from another planet. I don't care. It's yeah. it tastes good. Here's the thing, and I'm I'm curious about your guys' thought about this, especially Harley. Sure. The upcoming battle of burger supremacy 
is going to be Shake Shack versus In and Out because Ooh. Shake Shack just went public. Shake Shack. So you know that Shake Shack is Shout going out to be to Shake Shack. Shake, Shout out to Shake, Shake Shack. Shack. I, I was talking to someone about this. I'm like, Shake Shack is going to inevitably come to California, and In and Out is going to have real competition yeah. for the very first time for people that are doing burgers like they do burgers. Yeah. And I think they do them better. I so I really, up, I don't think it's going to be a competition. I think uh, California. Is one hundred percent in and out brainwash. Yeah, they got the uh, the allegiance there. They, it's crazy. Like I gotta say, I as like the first time I had in and out, it was phenomenal. Same like Del Taco. Mm-hmm. I came back years later, like two thousand twelve, had in and out, and I was literally like, hmm, okay. And at that point, I had had five guys like two years earlier on the East Coast, and I was like, this is fucking godly burger. This is the shit it right really here. Is. But a five guys burger is like if you want a burger and fries and a drink, it's like ten to twelve bucks. Yeah. Like In and Out is like five to six. Yeah, months. very affordable. Yeah, very Same affordable. with Shake Shack. Is Shake Shack is like not in an In and Out price range. It's a bit above that. Mm-hmm. So that price factor is why people aren't going to be lining up the drive-through at Shake Shack. But in my opinion, Shake Shack is fucking incredible. It's so yeah, it's awesome. Literally, it's on incredible. another level, man. Shake Shack in the New York, they have good. like a Fries webcam above the Shake Shack, so you can click and go online to see how long the lineup mm-hmm. is. Oh yeah. To determine if you want to wait in line or not. We, I was the the last time I was in New York, which was the first time I've been there in like two or three years. I was like, I have to go to Shake Shack. I don't even know why. But everyone's like, it's really good. I went. The line was around, but it goes fast. It does it's, go it's fast. It's actually not yeah. bad. Yeah, you just don't don't want to eat there. And it's... I'm like, it can't possibly be this good. And it was. It is. It didn't yeah. blow me away. Like, no, it, it's not the best thing on the planet, but it is a damn good. They got the crinkle fry. Like, I would wait another twenty minutes in line, maybe yeah. for a second one. Sure. Yeah, they got yeah. they got the crinkle fry, which you got to give a shout. They do. Got, here's the thing about lines. You know, tell me about it. Everyone, I hate them. Yeah. It's like traffic, which is why I don't know if I if I ever need to. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. Rubber tread, the rubber industry. <laughs> yeah, man. Tires. What are we talking about tires. <laughs> uh, I'm okay with lines as long as they're moving. I can stand in a oh, line sure. for an hour you as feel long as I'm aggressively moving. Same with yeah. traffic. If I'm on the 405 or the 101 up here, I don't give a shit as long as I'm not seeing brake lights in front of me for longer than like five seconds. Yeah, so you can like fuck with Disneyland because they got the lines that have like you know there's a bunch of different shit. Yeah, going there's like on, shit going so on. It's like, yeah. it's, like it's like a whole. Str- it's like playing craps. You're like, mm-hmm. what line am I supposed to be in right now? There's a fast pass thing. How does that factor in? What's my 50 50 ratio? Yeah. Um, you got to find that out. So when I went to Shake Shack, I was like, no, absolutely not. We're not going to eat here. And then the line started moving. I was like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, we'll be Muppet, my, Muppet walk my way in. A place, speaking of speaking Muppets. Of Muppets <laughs> speaking of Muppets. Speaking of Muppets. Just to answer your original question, sure. It's got to be a, a horrific war movie. And my like my mind first my my. Same Private Ryan was the one in my mind first went to, but then yeah. I went even darker, and I'm like, Apocalypse Now. Oh, God. That would be that would the be one, amazing. if you replace the, the cast with Muppets, that would be a really fucking weird movie. That would be awesome. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind seeing Apocalypse the now. Nolan Batman's redone, or you know what I mean? That's uh, a Batman movie with That'd the Muppets awesome. in it. That's probably on YouTube. Yeah, no, actually, I think well, the Muppets I'm did sorry. that on YouTube. Yeah, I feel like that exists. It was a, a promo thing for the Muppet movie. So remember? they redid the entire movie. The entire thing. Yeah, the entire yeah. trilogy, actually. Yeah, for like, sure. Like, the best part was when Bane came on, and it was good. <laughs> who was the name? Was it Fozzie? Uh, it, they actually got Colin, which was weird. They got Colin Vivian. I'm not sure yeah. where yes, the truth brother. ends and the lie begins anymore. <laughs> um, it's been a two-minute No, but the reason, I, the reason I love this question is because back in the day when Muppet Babies was a thing. Do you guys Muppet remember Muppet Babies? Yeah. yeah. They had it was a, better than the Muppets to me. It was. Yeah. It actually, I think it was. Um, but they had an episode that I always wanted to come on. The Star Wars episode? Yeah, it was the Star Wars episode. So fucking good. When it was Kermit uh, Skyhopper. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Amazing. And so I'm like, why don't they do more of that? Why don't they get licenses for the Muppets and do licensed movies where they put them into like money. Silence of the Lambs or something like that? Money, money. That's a good one. It would make so much money, though. It Muppet puts the lotion Patreon. in the basket. They should do a Patreon. <laughs> we should start a Muppet Patreon. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, if we break the $10 million barrier, we'll make a Star Wars Muppet movie. That's Dude, what it would be. I would contribute to that. Legit. How far off is Disney from buying the Muppets? They own the Muppets. Thank you. Good to talk. Well, not far away at all. <laughs> there you go. They don't even need it. There you is go. that Disney true? Star Wars. Yeah. Muppets? Why oh, don't yeah. they do things I'm with sure the Muppets? I'm sure they bought Jim Hansen's Muppets a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, it's Disney's Muppets. Yeah. You, you buy things to just do things with them later, Greg. Oh, okay. You don't Muppet want to throw right everything out there right all at once. I guess. No Did they buy them recently? There's, a fast, there's another fascinating no, question. No, they've had them for a long time. I'm sure we'll broach they it They made the point. movies. Okay. Uh, someone else tweeted at me, though, and this was this has to be a topic for another day, but something to, important to remember is what is Disney's what's Disney's identity now? Because they're no longer really Disney. They're, they're, most of their identity is based off of a lot of the properties that are being mm-hmm. kind of contributed to them. Marvel, Marvel and Star, and Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. So it's very, it's pretty fascinating to watch what that company's gone through. I, in the last I, I years. think Disney um, is is us, basically. I'm Disney down. Disney grew up I'm with in. us. Mm-hmm. That was like when I was a kid. Disney was always quality. Yeah. And I remember when Disney acquired Star Wars, there was like a weird and same with Marvel. There was like a weird like, oh my god, oh. And it's like, what do you think? They're not going to fucking put Wolverine in a dress and make him a Disney princess. Which kind of... They should, though. That'd be tight. That'd be hella tight. I'd be in that. Me too. Yeah. 
Um, but they, the dress of the movie. But they like they took something that you know we all liked, and we all liked Disney growing up. I'm assuming we're all like you know, almost thirty mm. or whatever. Oh, yeah. Not all and, of us. Though. And <laughs> and mm. they took that and they they grew up with us. They took control of the things that we all liked when we were younger, and that now that we're older, we have you know different tastes. Yeah, we moved on. We're not in like stuff we at like all. comics now, not yeah. stupid, stupid princesses. Yeah. And stuff. Um, but anyways, I feel like Disney did the right thing. Like that's the company. Like they're just running shit. Yeah, they are. They're owning yeah. shit. Yeah. They're gonna own everything. It's gonna be them and Google. They're gonna own everything one day. Mm. And fuck Apple. I'm down. I'm just joking. Apple. I love God. Apple. Aren't you excited for products. their car? Their iCar. The Titan. Yeah, I- Project that's Titan. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? They. It, it started to leak that Apple's that. working on a self-driving, well, what they presume is a self-driving car, and they so we read the story the other day. They they're starting to hire a yeah, bunch of like, talent from yeah. from what? Yeah. There's, There's a breeze. A breeze. Oh. It feels good. We, they started to hire a bunch Stop of talent it. from GM and Tesla and stuff, and they're giving them two hundred fifty thousand dollars signing bonuses to sign with with their car thing or whatever. It's still a secret. That's what the story said. That's crazy. It's cool. Tim, stop doing that. Cars. Stop doing what? Stop reading the screen. No, that they looked like there was an issue. So I was confused at what it was. It's okay. gone now. Okay, good. Because I I just saw in the middle of the thing you just go. <laughs> someone someone <laughs> raised a good that. point though. He was like, "Isn't this supposed to end at six? We're only on the yeah, second no, topic." That, there's someone saying something about a breathing problem. I was the one that's saying we shouldn't get distracted, and I got distracted. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we're ending at four thirty to bring on Genova Chen, so we do have to get. Yeah. When do I leave? Okay. Uh, well, you can leave whenever you need to. You you came here straight from the airport. If you can hang out another fifteen minutes, great. Dude, I'd love to hang out here for another uh, uh, thirty to five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll do my topic then. Okay. GDC's right now. Mm-hmm. PAX is at the end of this week. We're already talking about what we're doing at E3. Comic Con's coming up. We're going to the Screw Attack gaming Almighty. thing. Mm-hmm. We're going to MomoCon. Uh, I want to know which con that's, that's coming up. That's but at least it's here. here. Yeah. yeah, we won't. Uh, for San Francisco conventions, we don't work that hard. <laughs> um, I want to know everyone at the table their best convention memory and worst convention oh, God. memory. Mm. I can't even get into mine. Oh, you need mine's to bring somebody on for yours. Yeah, 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 mine's yeah, yeah. a whole whole rigmarole. The whole rigmarole. So you guys continue. I don't know. I think that this. I think this E3 coming up will be my tenth, and I think that the the first one I went to was 2004, and that was just a great memory for me because I felt like I had made it in some respect when I finally had gone. And it was a that was when they were showing World of Warcraft for the first time. Resident Evil Four was there for the first time, which was like really awesome. Doom Three was there, so it was like there was just a lot of good games. But I just remember that moment of walking in, and we at an IGN. I was an intern at the time. We had I was still in college. We had exhibitor badges, so we were really able to go in early. And I remember just walking the floor and being like, "This is so surreal and incredible." Right. Especially because this was pre-video internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so, like there was video in 2004, but you didn't have YouTube, and like no one was really watching game trailers. And you weren't like downloading fucking MPEGs of shit. So I, I never really you had like screenshots, but never really an idea of what it was like. Right. And th- so that was just really memorable to me because of, I've been to scores of shows now. I mean, like all over the world. But that first show, regardless of what was being shown there, was just a really surreal moment of like feeling like I, I had accomplished something finally mm-hmm. um, with like my my attempt to get into the industry as a, a kid. And uh, so that will always stick out to me. And I remember that I remember that E3 better than any of the other E3s I've been to. Um so I would just say that based on, on nostalgia. It's pretty funny because my first E3 was my worst convention experience. It was when I was I was like the third or fourth person on the video team at the time. This is when, going back to what you're talking about, the same era where to get a video live was like building a building. It was so hard. It took so long to compress the video and then publish, and then there was obviously something wrong with it. And we used to have to go, and uh, for basically the first two or three days, Fran, our, our former boss over at IGN, who's now uh, I think vice president of video, uh, didn't sleep and I didn't know this no one prepared me for this so I was like hey it's like two o'clock in the morning like could we wrap are we gonna go to sleep and he's like well yeah you can go to sleep if you want but I generally don't sleep for the first two to three days of E3 and I'm like it's only three days long like, <laughs> when it, so I literally remember I, and I felt bad because I was like this is my first convention and I've only been around for like six months so I'm like I don't want to be the guy that like goes to sleep first the party so I snuck back into the hallways. You guys know the hallways you can kind of like circumvent the routes yeah. and there were rows of chairs and I climbed over one like like a little lizard and hid myself in the second row so I could sleep for like a half hour. And, and I heard someone come out and be like, is Nick here? I don't know where he is. Oh, he must be gone. And I was like, just stay quiet. <laughs> and he'll never find you. And it was terrible. And ever, subsequently, it got better every year after that to the point where like the last year we did it was awesome because it was like live shows and this and that. Yeah, and we're streaming yeah. all the time. And like we have a whole crew for people. Um, but that first year was, was just terrible. Sure. Terrible. Uh, the one that stands out for me is a really good one was our PlayStation Experience. Oh yeah, that's the a great one. Last one we just did. That was the last that, show we did. Yeah, and that was a, our last show as IGN guys, and that was mm-hmm. the PlayStation one. So it was like the culmination of our careers there. Yeah. So to walk around and like when we went to the 
we were going to the press conference in the morning and you said I was looking like a broke ass politician shaking hands with everybody because yeah, we you should have seen Greg all it was this the best. giant line it was the, of like it was a thousand PlayStation fans and every every other one was like Beyond Bye like taking fo- I appreciate you were waving and saying Beyond Back we appreciate that support obviously the podcast Beyond was huge when, you know when we did it for years and we're so honored by that support but I was trying to like get where we needed to go but yeah, Greg yeah, yeah. Greg trying to like rally votes like mm-hmm. he's in a primary yeah. is literally doing the two way I've never seen anything like it. Like from anyone who's not running for office, Greg is literally walking down the aisle, like doing the two hand, just like just babies. grabbing kiss, hands. Oh yeah! Oh, it was, the fun- it was the fucking. <laughs> it was so funny, and I'm like, dude, Greg. And then it, it got even better because when we went to the conference at PSX, Greg had a receiving line. Like, like I just sat down. You know, I'm a little, people know me for years, like at, at shows and stuff. I'm just a little more shy, and I like to kind of. Greg can have the limelight. That's totally fine. I'm fine. You know, being. Unsung you know, we, we all know who has the biggest. Yeah, penis. Uh, yeah, we we yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I think we all do know the answer on the to that. Table. Uh, but uh, but Greg, like, so I just sat down and people would walk up to me every minute or so and be like, "Hey, I'm you know," and I'm, I, I stand up and, and shake hands. But Greg was literally standing in an aisle like he's like the like fucking Queen Elizabeth with like people <laughs> with people like w- a like a line like a four a quarter of a mile long line of people like trying to shake his hand. I'm like, this is. The, it was that because we are such PlayStation voices specifically, yeah. or have been known to be PlayStation voices. That show is really surreal for us, yeah. I think, because those are our people. Well, like when we did that. when we did Beyond, and usually we do Beyond or something live. We're like, who has a Vita? And like a few people will hold it up, and because we're, we're obsessed with Vita, as everyone out there knows. When we did it, this, like it was literally half the room. I was like, holy shit, these really are our people. And yeah. some people were like, oh, mine's in my car, and I'm like, there's more. <laughs> there are more this Vitas. Is every Vita that yeah. has ever been sold. Yeah, <laughs> not only that, but you guys were the voice of, a, of the PlayStation generation when PlayStation was at its darkest time, right? Like there wasn't, they weren't doing. When they were at the brink. We were there for them. You were, and you guys were the ones true. that were like, no, 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 it's still going, it's still going. Hold the faith, hold the faith. And then finally, you were vindicated when the PS4 came out and actually started doing well. And yeah. they had that great press conference at E3 where they're like. Well, Microsoft wants to do this. Guess what? We're not going to do that. And everyone's exactly like, "Yeah, I, I love that." But yeah, then they jumped in and they were like, "Us too, us too." Now we we're not going to do it all. Yeah. Also, yeah. And Microsoft's like, "Just oh, shit. JK, guys, <laughs> we, we would never do that. That'd be a terrible, terrible." <laughs> that'd be dumb. Um, Harley, what's your what's your uh, best and worst convention stories? Uh, Comic Con 2011, we did an Epic Meal Time live show, mm-hmm. and a girl showed up. And uh, she's like, dude, dick. No, I'm kidding. Uh, and at the end of the show, <laughs> she came. I'm, she I'm like, waiting to find out if this is the best or the worst. She was yeah. like, huge fan. Oh, no, this is a good memory. Uh, well, weird one. She was like, oh, my God, a huge fan. Like, can I hug you? I'm like, yeah. And she hugged. And then she was like, these are for you. And she started breaking off her fake nails. And she broke them all off and put them in her hands. And she's like, she's like, these are for you. Hang on to them forever. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So much. I, I, I brought them back to Canada. I still have those nails. Do you really? Yeah, I still have those. That's nails. awesome. Yeah, they're at my mom's house. Why? You just drop them in a drawer with some batteries well, and no, b- buttons. My, my, my battery drawer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My battery drawer in my old room. Like the nails are in there in like a paper towel. Are you Are you worried that one day she's gonna come back with some sort of wraith and be like, "Where are my nails?" And you're like, "Here, they're here. I, I held them for you the whole time." She's gonna be like, "Where are my nails? I'm gonna <laughs> suck your dick." And you're gonna be like, "Yeah." And then it's gonna be like Dan Aykroyd, yeah, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters, where he gets yeah. a ghost. Blow job. Oh, yeah, he, oh. His eyes go cross. Which, like, like, I only got 12 years after the movie the first time I saw it. Yeah. But, like, watching it, I'm like, oh. It's I was a like, why job. is she pantsing him? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. But I was like, I don't understand what she's doing to him. And I was like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Kid. That's Girl. what your mom said? Yeah. She My mom was very a glass of whiskey. She's like, you're a fucking idiot. Well, it, rem- it reminds me of those embarrassing questions you had. I think I've said this before, but Silence of the Lambs, when he she first walks in and. and Another great Muppet movie, by the way. Oh. Oh right, exactly, <laughs> and I and there's that pretty disgusting thing that happens where someone yeah. th- someone throws something at her or whatever. And I remember my, being with my mom, I'm like, "What the, the hell? Spit? Like, what was that?" And yeah, my mom's like, "Oh, she sp- he spit on her." I was like, "Oh," well, and then it wasn't until like I was like in college when I like watched it. I'm like, "You fucking lied to me," but you couldn't actually <laughs> tell me the truth. Yeah, but how how would you have interpreted that when you were a child? Oh, I mean, that's the thing. It's like my mom must have been Steven horrified. Right. Yeah, that I was even asking that question. She was like. I love that you were watching that movie though. Oh, well, oh, I used to see, I used to watch scary movies when I was a kid or whatever. But like, it, there's a difference I think between violence and and that kind of stuff, and then sex. Yeah. For, for at least my yeah. parents, there was, like, in, in terms of like, they didn't really care if I was watching scary movies. They cared if I was watching like more sexualized movies. Sure. Anyway, America. I don't know. That's just a. I, I remember like speaking of sexualized movies when I was younger, I used to. Uh, there was action figures for this thing called Toxic Avenger. Oh yeah. yeah. So I had like in Canada, you just had they had Toxy toys. Like you get like Toxy and. All the different characters, and there was like a cartoon, and then I remember being in like the movie rental place, and there was this movie Toxic Avenger that came out like six years before, 
And I was like, oh my god, all those Toxic Avenger toys that I just aimlessly buy because I've seen the cartoon. There's a real movie that existed? Yeah. No way. So we got the movie, and if you've seen that movie, which I'm sure everyone here has a seen that movie, one, yeah. it's like super fucked up. There's like sex, tits, like weird bullying. It's like super mm-hmm. fucked up. And I was like Saturday morning watching that movie, and my mom like wakes up, and she's like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm like it's Toxie. I'm like, it's Toxic Avenger. <laughs> I like have the toys. And that was before they made the law that like R-rated movies can't have toys. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And like for that exact reason, like I lived that. I was like, I was like, this you were the is test weird. case. This yeah. is weird to me. My so mom weird. wrote a letter to them and they ended up sending us like 15 toys. No, Being like super sorry about that. Here's all these toys. Please don't sue us. Here's the yeah. topless woman toy that we've yeah. been holding. And now, so if you want to know why like the new Robocop movie comes out, it's not rated R. Because my mom wrote a strongly worded letter in 1992. Do the, you can't do the merchandise. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. What's what's happening? Oh my <laughs> it god. Smells bad here. <laughs> what do you got? It's so hot. Why do we keep closing the door? <laughs> Patreon. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh, Patreon bought a you. bottle of Jack Daniels. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sherry! No, what are you doing? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Who raised you? Is this because of Toxie? <laughs> oh, man, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much cool. for letting us film and yeah, record and be around here, well, too. You got a double XL for the big boys? <laughs> there should be a... Okay, no, but this is... This just, is it's XL, actually for really? Greg. I want this shirt that he's wearing. <laughs> you want my team fat shirt? You're welcome to take it. <laughs> No. Yeah, well, it's, I know a, a while ago the door opened and there was a breeze. And Tim, swear go, to God, you feel I that? swear on my life, it smells worse now. It smells worse. <laughs> Someone brought it in. So it's Someone one of you. Brought it in. <laughs> Let me smell all of you. <laughs> well, but thank you, of course, for Patreon for letting us for letting us yeah, use their office space yeah, and for and being really it's really because good. of Patreon and all the support out there that we're it's able to do you, what we do. Yeah, it's, it's not you. Really, really good. I put. It just, it just smells like man. It smells like a boy's locker room. Remember in junior I think high, we're just you too. I just yeah. we're like, why does no one shower? It's because none of us wanted the people, the teachers to see These our penises. Nice. Oh, Patreon cocaine shades. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> True story about Patreon. They, they do a tremendous amount of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. I didn't get cocaine glasses. Oh, here. Oh, thanks. Con will keep passing Dope. out the goodies. Thank you. Anybody have a really bad uh, a bad convention story other than that? Mine, I got sick at Comic Con on the last day yeah. with Hillary one year, where I almost passed out on the show floor. That's that sounds good. And then I came home, and my throat closed up, and that was the first time I ever missed work at IGN because I was sick. Smelly. How smelly was Comic Con? Uh, Comic Con isn't Comic Con gets a bad rap. rap. It smells. No, I went to Comic Con and I was like, it smells like fucking Comic Con in here. <laughs> like, and it stunk. I was should, shocked go to- at how much it actually smells. Like Comic Con would smell like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it smells like un- unkempt skin. That's yeah, what it smells like. You should go to uh, you should go to Gamescom one day. Oh my God, Gamescom is a nightmare. Gamescom is like Comic Con. It's about ten times bigger with ten times more people, and they're all German. Sounds tight. Oh, Yo, thanks the for the Jack Dagnalls <laughs> and the T-shirt. <laughs> I'm taking this with me. Tim. Do it. Yes. What's your topic? So long, long time ago, a little over a year ago. We uh, we started the yeah, show, and uh, my my first topic was yeah, Nick doesn't care. Yeah, yeah Nick Nick will just interrupt matter. anyone. It, really it doesn't, doesn't matter. Sorry. Was <laughs> I forgot which Disney princess we'd get nasty with? Now here's my thing. There's been a couple. You've new grown up, and you're gonna I've apologize for it. You're gonna apologize for this. I'm not apologizing. They've added new Disney princesses since then, mainly Elsa, Anna, and they course. weren't around when we did this. No, when no, you no. did this. Yeah. We did it. We all partook. Let it, let it go. I, I'm oh, not going to let it go. No, no, no. They, they added a new Latina princess, Elena. What has she been in? She, I don't know. She, she's not a thing yet. Okay. Like they announced her. They showed pictures. I'm glad they Now, I will pre- say, all three of those added to the list, they can all get it. My question for you guys. Besides Disney, mm-hmm. which other cartoon characters would you get nasty April with? O'Neil. Jessica Rabbit. I always had a huge thing for Jean Grey in the X-Men cartoon. Oh, yeah. We're, I mean, super. Oh, Rogue. Rogue. Don't throw that at that point. Yeah, we can talk about the animated... If they, if Lady like Jesus Christ, Jesus, throw to me, I'll pass around. Lady J would be my answer. Oh, Who's yeah. Lady J? Oh, From she's G. one of the G.I. Joe. Joe's. Yeah. Now we're. Uh, I hate when you say get nasty. Are we gonna have a nice relationship? You can, you can get as nasty as you want. No, are, I mean, this is specifically about getting. Are we nasty. going on a date? Did you want? We're just no, making no, no, love. Okay. Is the, I mean, that's it's your definition of nasty, man. If love's nasty, if you're if going on a date for nasty. any 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 female cartoon character. Any cartoon character doesn't need to be female. That's a good point. That's a human. really good point. That's a good point. Is there one that's not necessarily a female? Snarf. <laughs> Snarf could get it. Snarf. 
Is that from uh, Too Many Cooks? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Snarf, Snarf is from Thundercats. Thundercats. Yeah, yeah. Thunder. They have, a, they have a, thunder. they have a thunder, 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 thunder cats. cats. You missed the thunder. I think I, I think I, you added the thunder. You remember that thunder. blonde girl from Cool World? Yeah, yeah. I oh, like yeah. totally got a boner back in the day. I remember like one of my first. You're like, what is this? What is happening? Yeah, mm-hmm. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I remember cool. Old Do you remember out? your first boners and you were just like, "What is happening?" Yeah, it was really weird. I no, used to think that always been part of getting me. the boner is what stopped you from having sex. I remember like watching what shows. What the fuck's where... wrong with you, Greg? Just another thing we have to look into when we go to I Chicago. Remember, remember that? Like, how we got to talk just... to his first sexual encounter. I, I oh, got God. it. And I was like, "How the hell is this going to belly button? <laughs> <laughs> Whose belly button is this going to go inside of? <laughs> Whose belly button am I going to have to put this in?" <laughs> You were just put fucking, it in my own. You can put it in mine later. Oh, speaking of which, how's the belly button doing? How's our sweat level of the belly? Oh, he's so moist. Yeah. Oh wow. That's looking he's good. Like getting That's Jewish, beautiful. Jewish curls on the belly now. Beautiful curl. Um, can you say Jewish on this? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. I don't think that's a curse word. So I don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, don't know. I mean, it's just live. You already said it. So yeah. it's too done. Yeah. Uh, so you, that's an interesting. What are you yeah, going outside? Go that. Are you going outside of the Disney princess? Uh, yeah, here? I made a list earlier. Give Jeez. us the list. I want Ari- By the way, I want Ariel, mermaid Ariel. Not. Yeah. I want to be a mermaid mm-hmm. and fuck Ariel. I don't want a human yeah. Ariel to fuck. I want to fuck her mermaid. Person. But are you okay with being human and she's? Mermaid? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I cool. Sex her. Yeah. I, that's good. Yep. Right? I mean, I'm, obviously, hey. I'm down. They all know I'm down for that. Us. That's good. Do you guys know that? You know how the mermaid myth came about? Colin, you probably know this. I don't. I don't maybe so I know. Are they real? Yeah. Manatees. Missing out. Manatees. Yeah. Women Man. used to look horrible, and so you they saw a manatee. Really? And no. Like, they would, yeah. Sailors would sail for so long, and they'd see these giant things that looked like humans swimming, but they were big. They had these big beasts, and they didn't understand what they were because at the time, no one knew what a manatee was. So manatee seals. Also, manatees walruses, do not look like a human. Things like that. No, no but in the water, they look like, like fucked up walruses in, uh, on the distance. Walrus eye. Because you can't, you don't know the depth perception of how far off they are. You think they're way, you know. Oh, I never knew that. Open. No, no. Yeah, and that's that's how the mermaid. Very interesting. About. Interesting. Very I read interesting. Read that in twenty thousand leagues under the sea, which has taken me a year, but I'm almost through it. I like that. Jules Verne. You're reading it. Damn that. We've been in here streaming for five and a half hours. And the Patreon people had to be in here for two minutes to be like, get him a fan. <laughs> we didn't realize we were running a podcast well, sweatshop no. underneath the stairs. Also, no, Literally. Yeah, it's small, it is getting a little ripe in here, which is great because we only have Jenova Chen yeah, no today. Jenova Chen. Yeah, he, he won't mind. Yeah. He's, he's indie too. He understands the struggle. Struggle's real. He's a beautiful struggle man. Real. How dare you? How dare you? Tim, did we go through your whole no, list? No, we did not. Give we it a list. Give it to me. So Give I want to give a shout out to Poison Ivy from the Batman anime. Mm. Oh sure, Batman yeah. Because Harley she, Quinn. She had it going. Harley Quinn too, but I feel like Poison Ivy specifically. Harley Quinn, you wouldn't want to like have a relationship with. That's a one night. You stand. don't put your dick in crazy. No, you. No, don't. you don't do nothing with her. No, you do <laughs> not put your <laughs> you dick don't in crazy. Put your dick in crazy. Definitely. Yeah. Not. Can I put that on a T-shirt or do you have? That I, I don't think that's my quote. I don't know who said that. Okay, well, I think we're it was Thomas Jefferson. Can we? Yeah, let's I think it was Thomas Jefferson. Well, it would be funny. It would be funnier to quote. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. And like a quote. And like a. And like calligraphy. <laughs> so we got Jubilee. Uh, Jubilee. Like yeah, she's fun. like 16 years old, bro. No, but here's the thing. I want to be 16 too. Yeah, he was at the time. Yeah, but Jubilee sucked, man. And plus, she yeah, but like there's something cool about. Sherry knock boots with Tim Drake. She's Robin. Stay away. All right, he can have her. Um, then we got Lois Griffin. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I'd Lois Griffin's something. hot. You get all up yeah. on that because she gets like every ev- the other episode. She'll be like in a dominatrix costume. Like, I yeah. kind of like that. Yeah. I, I gotta I gotta pull up the Marge Simpson one. You ever see those sexy Marge pics? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Marge because like Lois like is easy. That's the easy one. Yeah, Marge. Yeah, but see, I don't want to work for Marge though. Marge is blue voice, hair. She's dog. annoying. That's true. She's yeah, but like, I don't like violence. That's gonna take forever. You're gonna have to put so much time in. When's the last time you snuggled up inside a blue? <laughs> hmm? I guess you're right. I have it. Never. Never. No one. I want to, though. What yeah. about a fry guy from McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> ever since I, that has a cross ever, mind, ever since I uh, Ever since I played the Mass Effect series, I always wanted to have sex with any of the blue aliens. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, oh, the Asari. The Asari, so mm. tight. I also mm. want to put so tight. Josie and the Pussycats and Jem and the Holograms. I've never seen Jem and the Holograms, but now I'm, I have to pay attention because Audrey Peoples from Nashville is, is starring mm-hmm. in the movie. Mm-hmm. And this movie looks terrible. I have to imagine the cartoon was bad, too. Well, I've Which never one? seen the cartoon, but it, I did, on the Transformers movie, the 1986 version, there was uh, trailers before on my VHS, and one of them was Jem. And, like, That's all that you trailer looked awesome. I saw that 30-second thing, like, a thousand times. Nice. So I'm all about Jem and right. the Holograms. Is that your list? That's the list. It's a good list. Yeah. I'm going to throw a shout-out. Lady J. 
Aeon Flux. Mm-hmm. That was very that's Eon Eon Flux. Is mm-hmm. Eon Flux? How does that say? Pronounce it Eon. I never really knew. Eon? Really? I, I don't know. I thought so. I That's oh, based dang. on. Who cares? She can get it, though, She's, right? Yeah. 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 Get, a, get in a long term relationship. You say tomato, I say fucker. <laughs> yeah, Greg. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> oh, we're on the front page of Twitch. GDC, man. Ladies and gentlemen. That's another episode of the Game Over Greggy Show. Thank you, Harley, for coming by. Thank you all for putting up with us. Thank you, of course, for watching the stream if you're watching it. Uh, Sorry, I know it's shorter than our normal giant episodes, ladies and gentlemen, but we have to get Genova Chen here to talk about the video game world. So, thank you all for your support. Remember, each and every week, four, sometimes five, best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, check out patreon.com slash kindoffunny where you can get the episodes early on Fridays or go to youtube.com slash kindoffunny where you can get it episode by episode, day by day, topic by topic until we post the entire thing on Friday as an MP3 and, of course, a video. Everybody go to twitch.tv slash harleyplays. Subscribe to him. Yeah, he's serious about that. He's super serious about it. Sometimes he streams and gets kicked out of hotels almost. Yeah, you want to be there. You want to get that notification when I um, accidentally stream with my penis out. There you go. That's going to come one day, guaranteed. I'm subscribing. Uh, so I think I need to subscribe. Come one day. Ah! <laughs> 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 Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. And that's where we cut the fi- official video. Kick it. Wrong. You wake up in the morning, man. You don't want to go. <laughs> oh, man. You mixed two songs there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> they yelled me a lot about it. <laughs> but I just got to be me. I got to do me. I can't worry about other people. Yeah, man. Thing. Never worry about other people. Never make it on the internet that way. Kevin, check. Mike, check. Mike, check. You sound perfect, Nicholas. Oh, thank oh you, we've Kevin. just done all this live. It's awesome. <laughs> I've never man, cut this it. Is, this is how we roll. 6,500 people funny. watching. This is the raw shit. This yeah. is where they're like, oh my god, they're humans too. <laughs>